Welcome to Attic Raiders Retro Reviews, where today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to do a straight review of a board game. Instead, we're going to take a look at one of my favourite board games and we're going to compare two different versions of the same game. We're going to do that with the game Escape from Atlantis. We're going to take the 1986 version and compare that to the 1996 version. Now both of these were released by Waddington's, but obviously they were released 10 years apart. So there is a couple of differences between these games, and the differences, although slight, they do make a difference to how the games play, and whether one is more enjoyable than the other. Now you can see straight away the boxes are different, the older version of the game is in a much larger box than the newer 96 version. Both versions of the game have got really, really beautiful painted artwork on the box. The older 86 version is a much more realistic styling. It's very much like the old pulp serials of the 1920s and 30s. The newer 96 version, on the other hand, while still painted, is much more cartoony and exaggerated than the old version. You can see this particularly in the females and their facial expressions, which are a lot more exaggerated and a lot more caricature-like, particularly in their eyes. For me, the old game's box art is hands down the winner. It's just got a nostalgic feel to it that I don't get with the newer 96 version. But a game is far more than just its box art. So let's take a look at the components and the rules and see the differences between these two games and find out which one is better. So starting with the game boards, you can see that they are basically the same except for the artwork. This is the 86 version, this is the 96 version here. And you can see the 96 version is very, very slightly larger. And I would say that the spaces for the tiles on here are very slightly smaller. Whereas the coral islands on the 86 version that you're trying to reach for safety are virtually identical, on the 96 version you can see that they are all very different. And the artwork on the 96 version is definitely of a better quality. There's definitely more variety and far more detail. You can see that some of the hexagonal tile spaces are also different on these two games. The 86 version has extra spaces which I've marked with these green counters and you can see on the 96 version with these green counters I've marked where those would have been. And the same with the yellow counters here. On the 86 version there are playable spaces there. On the 96 version those yellow counters show that those spaces are missing from the game board. And on the 96 version with the red counters, I've marked the home spaces that you're trying to get to. Whereas on the 86 version, where I've put those same red counters, there is no C space there. So they've actually moved the home space on the 86 version to a different space on the board on the 96 version. Now that's obviously not very much of a difference, but it does mean on the 96 version there are four less spaces than on the 86 version. So you've got less to be able to manoeuvre around in. It also means that once you're set up at the beginning of the game and your boats are in place, in this case I've gone for a two-player configuration, then the boats on the 96 version have got less distance to travel to get home to safety than they do on the 86 version. From here, this boat has got to go one, two, three, four spaces to get to safety, whereas this boat has got to go one, two, three, four, five spaces to get to safety. So it means that it's going to be slightly easier in the 96 version. As soon as we start to move on to the game components here, you can see the really, really obvious shift in quality of sculpt. Obviously here on the left we have got the 86 version pieces and here on the right we have got the 96 version pieces. And although you can see that the older 86 version has got some nice details and it is nice and three-dimensional, the 96 version of those same pieces absolutely blows the older version out of the water. The quality, the detail and the sculpt on these is absolutely superb. We've got all kinds of Atlantean architecture here with the main Acropolis from the centre of the board, smaller temples, stairways, uh, manicured gardens and hedges and just the detail that's gone into the sculpting 
on even these lower land pieces. So the newer land pieces are by far the nicer ones. The 86 version comes with four different colors of playing piece and there are 12 of each different color. The 96 version has exactly the same. It has four different colors and 12 of each different color. But the 96 version, the newer version, obviously, whereas the older version, the counters or playing pieces are all exactly the same, on the newer version, you have got males and females and each color was, comes with six males and six females. Now obviously the level of detail and the sculpt on these newer pieces far, far surpasses the playing pieces on the old version. You can see that the sculpt on these Atlanteans is really, really nice. A big improvement from those plain wooden tokens. The problem with these, however, is that the wooden tokens have got a nice wide base. So it means that they are very, very unlikely to fall over. These guys, on the other hand, are quite top heavy. And not only that, they tend to have, let's see, a sprue bit at the bottom, which unless you carefully cut that off, that is gonna mean that these guys wobble quite a bit which is not too much problem when you're moving them from place to place on land, but if they are in a boat and you're moving the boat, then these playing pieces tend to fall over quite a bit, which is a bit of a problem. Sea monsters, and you can see the difference in these is phenomenal. The old 86 version compared to the newer 96 version, there is no contest. The 96 version, the sculpt, on this and the detail on this is absolutely beautiful it is such a nice piece compared to the older piece which does look kind of goofy this obviously is a much larger piece and takes up a lot more floor space uh, than this one but in this particular case it doesn't really matter because a sea monster will only be able to stay on a space by itself. There is no need to try and get any other um, object or piece on the same space as one of these because as soon as it goes on there then the sea monster eats it. Sharks and again you can see that the newer 96 version is just hands down a better sculpt than the older version here. This is very, very plain. There's obviously not much of anything on it at all. Whereas we've got detail on the shark fin here and we've got the water detail where it's got the wake in the water as the shark is cutting through there. So the shark piece here is so much nicer on the newer version. Octopuses now, and this is one of the rare times in this game where there is an actual difference in naming. In the old 86 version, this is called an octopus, whereas in the newer 96 version, this is called an octopode. You can see the newer version is much, much larger, much bulkier. It's a much nicer sculpt. Look at the detail on that, sucker detail and everything. It's really nice. This one, however, the older one, it's a lot more freaky looking, I think, uh, and it definitely takes up a lot less space, which is very important when it comes to sharing hexagons on the board with other objects. Because an octopus, even though it will destroy a manned ship, it will coexist peacefully with an unmanned ship, which means that it has to be able to stay on the same hexagon as an unmanned ship, which on the newer version really does not happen very well. Dolphins this time, and you can see again the newer 96 version blows the old version out of the water. There is so much more detail on this with the fins and the flippers that this is such a nice piece compared to the old one. The old one's got no fins, no flippers. It's really, really plain. It does mean, however, that this newer version here 
takes up a lot more space within each hexagon on the board, which is a bit of a problem because dolphins have got to be able to stay on the same space as swimmers in order to be able to keep them safe. They also need to be able to stay on the same space as boats in order to guard boats and help out. And on the newer version, the dolphins are just too big. They will not fit onto the same hexagon as a boat. Whereas the old version, the dolphins, they do fit on with a boat. So it's a bit of a design flaw for the newer one. And finally, boats. And again, hands down, the newer version is so much better quality than the old version. The sculpt on this and the detail is really, really nice. We've got all those oars at the side. We've got the detail of the mask and the rigging for the sail. And we've even got this little kind of um, ram's head on the prow of the ship here. The old one has no detail at all. It's really, really plain. The thing is though, this old version, the way it's made, is much less prone to breaking. This sail just kind of slides in here and that's it. The newer versions, because they've got this little peg here, which has got to go into this hole in the ship here, these ones tend to snap and get broken. And in that case, you end up with a ship like this with a peg stuck in it and there is no way to get that sail back in. That sail has now broken and will not go back onto that properly. It's not something that will glue easily and hold in place. So again, it's a bit of a design flaw where the older one, where it's simpler, is less likely to break and is therefore actually a better design. And again, the extra detail means that this takes up more space within a hexagon than this older version. So you're not going to be able to get more than just this boat into a hexagon very easily. Whereas with this version of the boat, you can easily get in a shark next to it or a dolphin. With this larger boat with this oar sticking out here and the smaller hexagons on the board, you cannot get a shark or a dolphin on that space as well. So again, in that respect, it's not as good as the old version. For the older 86 version, movement of the sea creatures is determined by this Atlantean spinner, which is a really, really nice gimmick, but you're gonna have to make sure that it's on a perfectly flat surface, otherwise you're gonna get unfair results. The 96 version, we've got sea creature movement determined by the roll of two dice. Now one thing to note is that with the Atlantean spinner, picking up, spinning it and waiting for it to choose a selection takes much, much longer than just rolling a dice. In fact, by my calculations, and this is where I start to get a little bit nerdy, it takes 11.4 seconds for the spinner to make a selection on average, whereas with the dice it takes 2.66 seconds to make a selection. Now that means that the spinner is taking roughly four times longer to get a selection than the dice is. Something else to note is that the spinner has got 24 different slots on it. Whereas the dice, because you've got two six-sided dice, there are six times six or 36 possible outcomes. Now on the spinner, you can see that there is the option for the dolphin, the sea monster, the shark, and the octopus. And each one can either move one space, two spaces, three spaces, or it will dive. With the dice, there is one dolphin, two dolphins, three dolphin sides, one sea monster side, one shark side, and one octopus side. And on the other dice, you can either roll two sides, which have got a one, two sides which have got a two, one side which has got a three, or one side which is dive. And that difference between the two means that there is a different probability of different outcomes depending on whether you use the spinner or whether you use the dice. 
Now you can see here I've really keeked out and drilled down into these numbers to see how they actually affect the gameplay. Now I'm not going to go into this in detail, but you can if you want pause and read over my findings. The main conclusions to draw from this are that in the 1996 DICE version, sea creatures are less likely to dive than in the older version. In fact, dolphins are one and a half times less likely to dive, but sharks, octopuses and sea monsters are three times less likely to dive in the newer game. In the 1996 DICE version, dolphins are twice as likely to move one or two spaces than in the older version. And in the 1996 DICE version, threats so that sharks, octopuses and sea monsters are one and a half times less likely to move three spaces than they are in the old version. So overall, that means in the newer version with the DICE, there's a lot less diving going to be going on, which is a shame because that is one of the most interesting mechanics in the game. And it means that the threats in the sea are potentially not going to move as far as they do in the old version, which again is a shame because that eliminates that danger element. So we've taken a look at how the component pieces are different on these two versions of this same game. Let's take a look now at how the rules are different and how that affects gameplay. In the old 86 version, when you're first setting up the board, you're only allowed to put one tribesman onto each yellow lowland piece. Now this means that they are going to be quite spread out and it also means that to get to the boats whoever puts it on this space here is going to have the immediate advantage. With the newer 96 version though you can put as many of your playing pieces onto each tile as you can fit. You do not have to space them out so that there is only one playing piece per lowland tile, you can have three on a lowland tile if you really want, which means that the docks near the boats are probably going to get quite crowded. However, in this particular version, as we'll come on to see later, that's not necessarily a good thing. In the older 86 version, if you want to remove a piece of land which has tribesmen on it, then those tribesmen get removed from that piece of land and are repositioned anywhere on the island on another piece of land, up to you. And that piece is then removed and whatever symbol was shown on it, in this case a shark, is put onto that space. However, with the newer version, if you want to remove a land tile which is occupied by Atlanteans, then those Atlanteans get dumped into the sea where that tile was. And then when you look at that tile and place down what was in that space, in this case a shark, then those Atlanteans are going to get eaten by that shark immediately. So the consequences of your actions are much more immediate. It's a far more cutthroat game where you can really, really screw over your opponents. In the 86 version, if you choose a tile and uncover it to find a whirlpool, then everything in the water around or adjacent to that space gets sucked into the whirlpool and is destroyed. But the land and the tribesmen on the land are quite safe. In the newer version, if you uncover a tile and it's got a whirlpool symbol on it, then not only does it suck in everything which is adjacent to that whirlpool tile space in the water, it also destroys and sucks in all of the land surrounding that one as well, which makes this version far more dangerous and more varied and more interesting because some of those land tiles which would have turned up have been eliminated from the game and so every game is going to be different because you're not going to keep getting the same tiles turning up each time. Sometimes some of those tiles are going to be eliminated and the things that would have been introduced by them have now gone. Now in both versions swimmers can only move one space in the water rather than the usual three on land. However in the old 86 version if you are with a dolphin then you can move one, two, three spaces through the water. 
In the new version, if you're with a dolphin, you can still only move one space instead of three like in the old version. However, in this version, if something else lands on the same space as you, the dolphin will give you protection from it. This sea monster cannot eat this Atlantean because of this dolphin. And that does not happen in the old version. In the old version, although you can move three spaces, if some other sea creature lands on the same space as you with a dolphin, it will eat you. So the dolphins in this game are slower, but they're a lot better for your health. In the 86 version, if the spinner lands on a sea creature diving, then that creature can disappear underneath the water and reappear somewhere else on the board. However, it can only reappear on an unoccupied sea space. So that means that it can threaten swimmers or block boats, but it cannot reappear on the same space as a swimmer or a boat. Whereas with the 96 version, if a sea creature dives, then it can reappear anywhere on the board, including occupied spaces, which means that, for instance, this sea creature or sea monster would completely destroy that boat and eat all of the passengers on it. It makes for the newer game being much more threatening and being able to directly attack other players rather than just being able to threaten them. And that makes it much more fun. I think the 80s version has got a nostalgic appeal that the 90s version just cannot beat. But it has to be said that the 90s version is by far the more visually appealing game. The quality of the sculpt on the components and the artwork on the game board just make this a much nicer looking game. And overall, it plays better than the 80s version as well. The play mechanic of being able to throw people directly into water when you remove a tile, the whirlpool which sucks in land as well as sea-based objects, and sea creatures being able to dive and reappear immediately on a sea space with other players make it much more threatening and much better fun. It's just great to be able to really stick it to some of your friends when you're playing this. So for me, although both games are really good, the 96 one just beats out the 86 version on pretty much everything. So would I recommend it? Well, this is one of my favorite games, so I would definitely recommend both versions of this, but if you're only going to buy one, I would personally be going for the 96 version. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison. Let me know what you think about this game. Is it one that you like? Have you played both of them? Which do you think would be the better one to play? Until next time, this is Attic Raiders Retro Reviews.